Hey guys, I'm Shanice. And I'm Phoebe. Thanks for tuning in to our video today. Um, we're about to go down to a cute little cafe in Brisbane to answer some of your frequently asked questions. We hope you like the answers and make sure you put any other ones that you have in the comments below so that we can answer them in some other videos. It's not that we don't love the fluoro colours and prints, we really love them. Mm -hmm. But just in the last nine or so months, we haven't brought out a lot, but that's just due to what's on trend. So we always are trying to stay on trend um, while keeping it really sexy and unique. Uh, but it also depends on the fabric availability. Uh, if you are looking for some fluoro, make sure you check out our eBay Classics store as we have the devil orange there. Yeah, I've, that color's really, really nice. Yeah, I a, would recommend it. Yeah, it's really sexy, really cute. So make sure you check that out. And um, so that's our eBay store. Uh, in our normal liquid weasel range, there's the neon splash, which is the black and white print with the uh, neon uh, binding. So make sure you check that out as well. Yeah, definitely. So the question is, is raising a camel toe awareness your goal or is it your thing? I'm with it either way. He says. Mm. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting question. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a thing. I guess it's just um, different things empower different women and, you know, it's just different styles for different occasions. Yeah. 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 I personally. I'm not into a camel toe, but some women love it. They feel very sexy when they have it. Um, the 404 style with the seam up the front is very essential to the camel toe. And I know that some guys love it, but... So I guess if you if your partner's happy with that, then go for it. Do your sure. thing. Whatever makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah. They're all for that. So yeah. that's our thoughts on that. <laughs> Okay, the next question. When are you going to make some cheeky WWE for men too? Well, hmm. <laughs> I think the men already like our Wicked Weasel styles, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think they're, all of our styles are very cheeky mm -hmm. and I think all men love them. So, in that way, I think they're all for men. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of similar to the other... Um, question asked earlier. I think um, we don't plan on making a men's range at this time but I can tell you that there are some guys that do order our bikinis and they wear them so if you can fit them why not? <laughs> when we be bringing back the 334 their no top? I wouldn't say that the 334 is completely gone out. Um, you know we may be bringing it back but recreating it a bit with like some straps or just like some styles but it all depends on you know what you guys like um, how often it gets bought um, you know how popular it is but yeah yeah so originally it wasn't the bando wasn't the most popular style but I think it's definitely leaning towards the 
it's getting more popular over time which is really good and that's thanks to you guys so the more positive feedback you give um, us about the new top and the more that you guys get it the more styles that will bring out again and I personally love it because I feel like I can wear it with some shorts or a skirt just chuck on it's really easy and um, like I feel nice and I feel good in it and also it's good for the different tan lines um, often when you just win the tri top yeah. you always have that whole to neck yeah. tan line so it's I like to change it up a bit to change to get the whole tan which yeah. is really good. But um, definitely keep your eye out for the eBay classics. I yeah. think um, we'll probably having more on there. Yeah, eBay.com is where you'll find the classic style. So keep your eyes peeled there and you might catch some 334 bandeau tops. Another hot tip would be to uh, keep an eye out uh, on our emails because every now and then we do an archive, archive sale on uh, on our eBay store and that has old old styles so uh, keep an eye out for that to get the original original stuff it's really hot the next question is how do you find your models so uh, our model um, scouting process is all done in house we have a really amazing creative team who looks for like spends a lot of time filtering through um, emails, uh, organic emails of people applying to be a model, um, uh, social media is a really good place to find models and also modeling agencies so they are main ways of finding and also um, referrals so um, a model we might have one of our models and then they um, refer us like, to some of their friends or something like that. So that's the main way that we do it. Um, they all have to go through an interview system to make sure they are going to get what they want out of um, doing a shoot with us. And um, we need to make sure that we can get what, from them what we need and what we want. So um, I'm going to ask Shanice, how are you found as a mom? So I was contacted on Instagram um, by Renee, amazing person. Um, so then from there I travelled from Brisbane down to Byron Bay and I had my interview and I was shown around the factory and the shop and yeah from there we did our first shoot and yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> so how many shoots have you done with us now? Um, this is probably my seventh, wow. maybe eight. Yeah. Uh, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. She's lost count because she's very popular and uh, we get really good feedback whenever she models, whenever she needs models. So um, that's why we keep getting her back. So if you want her to keep coming back, make sure you comment below and, um, and we'll make sure that keeps happening. Um, also, a good tip if you are interested in modeling for Wicked Weasel would be to hashtag Wicked Weasel and uh, that will help us find you and maybe you'll be a future Wicked Weasel model yourself. <laughs> the question is, when are you going to start selling the bikinis and knickers that made you famous? <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, so our, um, one of our slogans is turning head since 94, okay? So that's when we first started and we started with all next level sexy, okay? So tiny little micros, which is the 457 style and, um, and we still have those. We still have a lot of that in a lot of different prints, a lot of pink colours. Pretty much every range that we bring out will always have the 457s, um, which I think that's what you're referring to. Um, if you are trying to find those, um, when you're searching, use the Wikidometer um, on the website. Yeah, so that goes from flirty, racy, racy, saucy, naughty. But if you are in particular looking for the 457, um, in the filter, search for naughty and you'll find it. Yeah, that's our sexy styles. So, um, also our our demand and our popularity has just booming, booming, booming in the last couple of years and that is because we have kept our original styles but we've also brought out a lot more styles which is a lot more versatile and just um, connects with more women so we just want to empower more women yeah. and everyone has a different idea of sexy 
and different levels of sexy and how they feel comfortable. So we just want to um, expand the range so it suits more people. But don't worry, we'll always have the micros. So um, keep an eye out for those. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So the next question is, when are you bringing back the terry cloth shorts? Well, we've just got the new Malibu ones. Yeah, yeah we have uh, the new Malibu shorts and um, matching dress as well. They are so cute. Uh, pretty much the same style as the old Terry shorts, but um, it's just newly reinvented with a different fabric. So it's smooth on the outside. Yeah. And you get the Terry on the inside. Yeah, the Terry on the inside. So it keeps you nice and dry. It's perfect for the after the pool or after the beach. Keeps you, um, it's really comfortable and on the outside it's so soft and it has a really beautiful strap print. So make sure you check that out on wickedweasel.com. And for the older styles, like the older Terry um, shorts and skirts, uh, look on our eBay store, eBay.com, and uh, you should be able to find some of them there. <laughs> okay, so the next question is. Any more 434 bottoms in the near future? That's the one with like the leather type um, detail on the side, yeah. right? Yeah. So originally we brought it out in the game on uh, and then in the Sweet Escape, which is currently still available, I believe. You have to check the website for that. Um, but I personally love that style. I think it's hot. Yeah. And uh, and I love the sweet escape print, uh, but people liked it. But compared to other styles, it just wasn't as popular, and it's pretty hard to make. So that's why we haven't brought it again out so far. But um, we definitely love to bring it out. So give us your feedback if you want to see more prints in that style. We'd love to bring it out again. Uh, we just can't give you a date of when. Uh, let us know what fabrics that maybe you would like to see it in in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. The next question is, why do you sell the WW Classics only on eBay and not in your stores and on the Wicked Weasel website? So, I think it's mainly because um, some of the older styles like more like the collectors will search for them. So eBay kind of has like its own like life, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if they do really well on eBay and people are searching for them a lot, then we'll bring them over to the Wicked Weasel website and make them like a collection of their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is literally has happened recently with the polka dot. So when we first released the classic polka dot on eBay, on our eBay store, eBay.com, uh, they were so popular that now we have brought it over to our Wicked Weasel website as a release on its own uh, in a couple of different colors as well. So now it's available in the red, the yellow, and the pink. Really popular. So if you like polka dots, make sure you check it out. Wickedweasel.com. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the more demand uh, that we that we receive from the eBay classics on the eBay store, uh, the more popular it is, the more likely it will be to go onto our Wicked Weasel website and in stores, in our Byron Bay store and our Sigma store. Yeah. Yeah. So. The power is in your hands. <laughs> is less better? In other words, do you prefer the minimal over the standard? Um, well, look at Weasel. We, we get a lot of feedback from women saying that they love our G-strings and our micro bikinis, especially for tanning or just being sexy for the husband or the partner or whatever, and like a private pillar or at, the, at your home pool. But then we also receive a lot of feedback saying that they, those same women want something that's a little bit more coverage for the neighbor's pool um, or, or the public pool or the beaches uh, where it's more um, socially acceptable to wear a, a bigger bottom or a bigger top or less see-through and things. Yeah. Um, yeah, just when they're with their kids and things. Uh, that's just the feedback we've gotten. So we like to marry those two together. So you can kind of get like the best of both worlds. Yeah. I think, you know. 
Yeah, and that's why we, when we release a new print or a new colour, we release it with all the different cuts and styles so that we have something for everyone. Yeah. But what about you? Do you like the less is more or what do you prefer? I prefer the smaller ones um, only because like better tan lines, just they look good but usually when I get them I'll get a small one and a bigger one. Just in case I do go somewhere where I, it's not really to wear yeah. a g-string around kids and stuff like that so <laughs> I like to have like a small one and a big one yeah I'm pretty much the same tan for tan lines definitely like the smaller cuts and things yeah. um, but for a public pool or to go to the beach even though in saying that it's become more and more normal to wear a g-string and things to the beach mm. so it's totally up to your preference and what you feel comfortable in Will you do a pop-up store in Miami? Yeah. Mm, that would be fun. Um, I think if we were to do a pop-up store in Miami, it would probably be one of the first places we would do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Miami is prime Wicked Weasel lifestyle, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have anything planned yet, as of yet. But we like to su surprise and delight, like we said earlier. So keep tuned for that. We'll always release that sort of news in our uh, email subscription. So keep your eyes peeled there. And yeah, I could definitely see it happening in Miami for sure. Yeah, we would like that. So that is the end of our video for today. We hope that you got the answers that you're looking for and enjoyed our, our little cafe date. And yeah, if you guys want to see more, head over to wickedweasel.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. You gotta come and join in the Wicked Fun with us more often. Hit the subscribe button below to see even more Wicked Weasel models do their thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.